Okay, so we're looking at a practice robot. Yeah. Uh, talk us through what we've got, what are the features, how does it put together, and how do you use it? Yeah, well, this one comes straight out of the box, so there's no pieces to put together or, or things to put uh, you know, together or screws or anything. So it comes straight out of the box, practice partner 20. Um, you've got the um, controls here. And they literally just sort of just using a clamp, yeah. just clamp up yeah, there, right? Yeah, it's just clamped on there, nice and easy. Okay. Um, speed and frequency adjusted here from the range of 1 to 10, 1 being the lowest, 10 being the highest. Mm -hmm. um, and you can turn it on and off here as well. So and it's just one lead then into the device. And this just sits on the, on the actual table? Yeah, it sits on the, it's not clamped anyway, it sits so on there. you the, can just move it to... Yeah, you can put it anywhere on the table you want. Yep. Um, that's just going forward and back, and okay. this one uh, shoots out the balls. So this wheel here then, is this what puts a spin on? Yeah, the wheel is spinning around, the ball comes at the front and shoots the ball out then with spin on the ball, whether it be top spin or back spin, you can adjust it to what you want. So where it's on the top there, I take it that's probably giving us top spin? Yeah, it's going to give us top spin now in a moment, which I'll demonstrate. Okay, and then if you wanted to change it then, how do you get it to... Yeah, you just turn it around, literally that easy. side spin and, and back spin. Okay, oh that's great. And then the balls just pop in the top? Yeah, the balls are in the top. Um, you know, you put the balls on the top, they shoot out. You've got a, a collector there to collect the balls yep. at the end, put them back Scoop in the top, up, and it's just there. a Off big cycle. And how many balls have we got in there? Uh, there's about 50, 50 balls in there, yeah. Okay. Well, that's great. Okay, right, let's see it in action let's, then. Let's do it. So I'm just going to demonstrate now the forehand technique. Obviously, the good thing about a robot practice partner is that ball is never going to miss for me, so I can practice my shot over and over without mistakes. So Mike is just going to put the machine on into my forehand, and that ball is going to be coming at a good frequency. So I can just practice that shot over and over and over. The main thing when you're practicing against these type of devices is to recover after every ball. Hit the ball, recover for the next one. So Mike is going to turn up the frequency now, so that ball is going to come out a little bit faster. Add a little bit more speed for me, Mike. Okay. So as you can see, that it's quite a bit of a workout, you yeah. know, and it's, it's good that that ball's coming frequently all the time and I can just practice my shot over and over and over. And literally it's landing pretty much always in the same part of the table. Yeah, yeah, I can adjust that, obviously move the machine so I can take it from the middle, I can take it from the white forehand. Um, but yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a good tool. Great. Okay, so we're going to go into now, turn the machine around so it's uh, facing us with backspin. Okay. So I can practice two different shots here, I can practice the push shot, or I can move back and practice the topspin shot. So, okay, fire it up. So there's the push shot. Backspin's coming towards me. I'm giving it backspin back. And I can practice that topspin as well. And then I can change if I want, just do one and one. So one back and backspin, one topspin. So it's a good way of just varying your shots. Okay, and stop. Okay, so it's a very good way of, of challenging yourself in terms of changing your shot because it's not when you get into a routine, it's very much you can switch off. When you've got to do one push and one toss spin, then you're always active and thinking about yeah. the right shot to play. So we've turned the machine around now, so it's in a sideward motion. That ball's going to swerve around like we showed earlier yeah. in, the, in the program. It's coming right to left. It's coming right to left, yeah. so a bit of swerve on this ball. So you've got to counteract that spin again. So you're not hitting the ball too hard, but just counteracting the spin. My bat angle has changed. And as you can see, it's hitting my bat and swerving off. I'm just caressing and feeling that ball the right way. And to challenge myself here, I can play one forehand and then one backhand. One forehand, one backhand. So yeah, Brilliant. this is a good workout. It is a good workout. You know, if you if you continue this for like half an hour, an hour, it's going to be a good workout. Yeah. So what we've done now, in order to get a real, realistic service, we've turned the wheel here in order to tilt the machine downwards. 
So the ball is shooting out onto this side first, which is realistic of a serve, and over the net, and I'll be able to play my shot then afterwards. So you can use this wheel to turn it down or upwards, and if it's upwards, then I can pra practice my smash. I think what's very important when you're returning is you don't just stand there and do the same shot. Yeah. Make sure you turn and play a backhand. I was then doing some attacking shots as well. And I was playing into that corner, into the middle and into the other corner. So again, the feel of if I was competing in a match. Yeah. Okay, now, so we got the, the robot at full, full tilt now. And so we're gonna make sure that Mike is gonna move me around here. And this is the benefit of having a practice partner that can move around, makes it as realistic as, as possible as it can be with a, with a robot practice partner. Okay, let's start it. So I'm going to be asked to play backhands and forehands. I'm not exactly sure where that ball's going. I'm using my feet to move in the right place. And Mike can speed up that frequency now. So as you can see, it does get that heart racing and the, you know, the blood pumping around. And it's very realistic to what you'd get in a match, that sort of pace. So if you know, purchase one of these and you really get a good workout. So the model we've been looking at here is the Practice Partner 20. These dials control the direction and spin placed on the ball. And the hopper at the top holds at least 50 balls. The speed and frequency of delivery is controlled from the control panel, which clamps onto the side of the table. Available separately or as part of a package, the catching net is pretty much essential unless you like picking up balls. So for more information on the Practice Partner 20, please pop into our showroom, drop us an email or give us a call.